What's up everyone? So today I'm actually bringing a special guest onto the channel to talk about a new subject as far as drop shipping on eBay. Now I know a lot of you, you're looking for new strategies, new ways that you can make more money in your eBay drop shipping business, or maybe you're looking to start your first ever eBay drop shipping business. I'm bringing on one of the largest eBay drop shippers Paul J. Lipsky, he sold well over $4 million dropshipping products on eBay, and he's actually gonna break down this new strategy in a quick step-by-step -step tutorial going over wholesale dropshipping. This isn't dropshipping from Amazon, this isn't dropshipping from Walmart or Home Depot, this is wholesale dropshipping, a totally new business model on eBay that not many people are taking advantage of, has a lot less competition, higher profit margins, and honestly, I think it's definitely something a lot of you can have success with, so I'm more than happy to bring Paul onto this channel. And before we get any further into the video, if you could just smash that like button, I would greatly appreciate that. And let's go ahead and get right into the video. What's up, everyone? Here we are with the king of dropshipping, Paul J. Lipsky, and today we're gonna talk about eBay dropshipping, but Paul's actually gonna show a little bit of a twist, a new method that he has started to apply um, that he wants to talk about in this video and he thinks it can bring a lot of value for people that either currently have an eBay dropshipping business or potentially looking to start. So Paul, do you want to talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, for sure. And again, Carter, thanks for having me back on the channel. I love being here. Your audience is awesome. Always so many awesome comments. So appreciate it, man. Of course. Love to have you here. Thank you so much. Cool. And thanks for giving me this opportunity to talk about this new opportunity. Um, so I've been doing eBay dropshipping for over four years now. And one of the things that I've always loved about it is just how simple it is, how beginner friendly it is. And, you know, when I first started dropshipping or tr rather trying to make money online, everything I tried was just way too complicated and just wasn't working. So when I found dropshipping, specifically eBay dropshipping, it was like such an aha moment because finally I found something that was working. But I had taken a course at that time that taught me how to do it and it wasn't working because everything in the course was outdated. The general concept worked, but it was outdated. So that's when I kind of had to develop my own strategies. And as, that's a good lesson. I bring that up because as time has gone on, things have changed again on eBay. Of course, just like with any business, things change. So we have to adapt. So I wanna show you how we've been adapting to some new changes on eBay, some new changes to the market, and how we can still keep this a pretty simple business model, but have some huge advantages with, with what I wanna show you. So here I am on eBay. Um, now, the way that we've been doing drop shipping in the past was we would find items on other retail websites. So websites like walmart.com, for instance, and then we would list them up for sale on eBay. And the cool thing about that is that, you know, it's very simple. You don't need to build any sort of relationships with any suppliers. You just sign up for a walmart.com account, which is free, start listing those products onto eBay. And once those products sell, we would then buy them from Walmart and Walmart would ship the items directly to our customers that we that purchased the item from us on eBay. So you don't have to hold any inventory. You don't ever have to touch the packages. That's what drop shipping is. And you can see why that's very beginner friendly, right? Because you don't need to buy that inventory. You don't need to worry about, you know, finding just one product that you hope is going to sell well. No, you could just list up a ton of products and then find out what does well. And so it was such a great model for beginners, but I want to show you now kind of what's changed and uh, how we've adapted to that. So instead, the same model applies, the same dropshipping model, but instead of using retail websites like Walmart here, we've begun using wholesale suppliers. Now, I want to explain the difference between retail and wholesale suppliers. So a retail supplier is one like walmart.com or amazon.com or homedepot.com, right? These are stores or websites that sell directly to the public. Now, a wholesale supplier doesn't sell directly to the to public. So normally when an item is made, it's made by a manufacturer and then the manufacturer sells the item to a distributor and then the distributor sells it to a retailer like Walmart who then will sell it directly to the public. So we are going to be buying it higher up, either from the manufacturer or from a wholesale supplier. And then they 
when we get the order on eBay, we then order it from them and they ship the item directly to their customer. So a lot's the same here, right? The general concept of what eBay dropshipping is hasn't changed. It's the same basic structure. It's only who we're buying the item from, only the supplier that's different. Now, what are the benefits of doing it this way? Well, one of the biggest benefits is that we are getting it higher up in the chain of command, which means that it's gonna be cheaper. When you're buying the item from like Walmart, the item costs more money than it would be if you're buying it from a wholesale supplier or from the manufacturer or distributor. So right away, that puts us at a big advantage because we are going to get higher margins than anyone who's drop shipping from, let's say Walmart, the same item onto eBay. So we get a big win right there. The other thing is that eBay has said that they, don't really like when you drop ship from these retail websites. Now they still allow us to do it. So check this out. I come over to eBay and I search for Mainstays and Mainstays is a brand that only Walmart sells. It's a Walmart exclusive brand. We can see here all these Mainstay products, okay? Like this one right here, which is this bookshelf, which sold 20 times. This is being drop shipped from Walmart onto eBay. And as you see, it's selling. It sold 20 times here. Let's find another one. This one, like right here, has sold two times. Uh, let's see. This one at the top here has sold over a thousand times. And these are all being drop shipped from Walmart onto eBay. So they still allow it. It still works. People are still making money with this retail model. It's just technically, if you read the rule, it technically says it's not allowed. So what does that mean? Well, if you do it and, you, and eBay finds out you're doing it, they just um, lower this listing in the search results, right? So they kind of penalize this listing for it. Um, that's all that they do. They don't actually kick you off for doing it or anything like that. So, or, but I, I would say if, if you wanna be super safe and you wanna make sure that you are complying with all the rules, technically speaking, then you should be drop shipping from these wholesale suppliers. So that's another advantage of it as well. So I pulled up this website right here, which is called Inventory Source. Inventory Source is a website that you can sign up for. It, there's a free uh, version of it. I wouldn't sign up for the paid version. Just get the free version because the free version gives you access to the supplier directory. That is what you're looking for because the supplier directory shows you over 6,000 wholesale suppliers. So you don't have to go around the internet searching for them. They are here, right here. You can just go through these, start opening them up and start messaging these different suppliers or looking on their website to see if they do drop shipping. So for instance, CWR distribution right here, if I open them up um, and go to their website, click here where it says visit website, I can look around their website check things out. And I know for a fact, because I've used CWR distribution, they do drop shipping. So we actually drop ship products that are available on CWR distribution onto eBay. Once they sell, I then contact CWR. CWR then ships the item directly to the customer of mine on eBay. Now, this means that all these products that are for sale on CWR distribution, most people don't have access to CWR. So we are getting access to all these products at special pricing that most people don't have. So this is really a, an amazing opportunity because this, this is an easy way for us to build a very legitimate business where we are getting these relationships with these wholesale suppliers, getting good rates, getting good products to customers and getting a really healthy margin in there as well that most people are not, or most sellers on eBay are not gonna be able to do because they don't know how to do this, but we know how to do this. We know how to get these special relationships with these special pricing so that we can get the better margins and therefore more profit when we sell these items on eBay. So the general drop shipping model, as you see, hasn't really changed at all. We're still buying it from someone else who's then shipping the item directly to the customer after the sale happens. What's changed is only where we are getting them from. And it actually puts us at a huge advantage because of the higher margins, because we can make more profit on every single sale with this model.
So Paul, thank you so much for breaking that down. Yeah, I'm always trying to learn about new methods of drop shipping, other retailers, other websites, and you know, wholesale drop shipping is definitely something I think a lot of people should look into. Um, I don't know a lot of people watching this video, they might have some common questions. And I kind of wanted to ask you, you know, mm -hmm. if you had to give, you know, one tip or, or one piece of advice to someone who's trying to enter, you know, the, the wholesale dropshipping space, you know, what would your piece of advice be? So the most difficult part is to really build a relationship with a good supplier. If you can get that part down, the rest of it's pretty easy, right? Because the wholesale supplier will give you pictures of the item. They'll give you descriptions. They'll give you the price. You then just take that information, paste it into eBay, and you have a listing, right? So you don't have to take photos, write a description. All that is stock and all that's given to you. And then you don't have to worry about buying a bunch of inventory. You don't have to worry about shipping items to the customer because the, the supplier takes care of that. You, the returns are sent directly back to the supplier as well. So a lot of it's taken care of for you. You just have to find that good supplier. And if you're able to do that part, that's what I would concentrate on. Because if you can do that part, you are gold. When I first started this, I was like, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I tried one or two suppliers. It didn't quite go the way I wanted to. And then I found one really, really good supplier. And that was like 90% of my business for a while because it was just such a golden opportunity once you lock that in. Okay, perfect. So I have another common question that people are probably thinking of right now, but how exactly do you go about finding a good supplier? Like, are you just going like with the first 10 or do they have good ratings or do you go for the bigger companies? How exactly do you go through the process of deciding, hey, I want to go ahead and, and test out this, this wholesale supplier? So the first step of this is you have to find these wholesale suppliers. And there are multiple ways to do that. But the, the one easiest way is what, what I showed you right here is to go to uh, inventorysource.com, sign up for a free account, and just start looking there. All those people do whole, uh, wholesale of some kind. Now, not all of them do drop shipping. So that's one of the criteria you have to find out. So you go to their website, you contact them, say, hey, do you do drop shipping? What are your rates? What are your rules around it? And they have to check off a few of those boxes before you would even consider using them. Once they've checked off all the boxes, like they do drop shipping, they have good rates and all that, then you kind of test them out, see, see if it works. And by starting to list some of their products onto eBay, you can even ask them, hey, what are your most popular products? That's how I always start because I don't want to waste my time listing up a bunch of products. They will tell you what their most popular products are. And then pretty quickly, you can get a good idea of how they are as a supplier. Once you start to make those sales and the sales really pick up and all the customers are really happy and your profit margin is really healthy in there, then you're good. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for breaking that down. Well, Paul, thank you so much for sharing all those secrets as far as wholesale drop shipping and then a little bit more information on, you know, selecting suppliers. And I know a lot of people that watch my eBay drop shipping videos, they always want more content. They want to learn more in depth about the business model. And of course, you're the guy to go to when it comes to eBay drop shipping. So Paul, do you have any extra, uh, you know, content or videos or anything where someone could go where they maybe wanted to learn in more in-depth information about the eBay dropshipping business model? Yeah, for sure. So I actually do have an online training course all about how to do this. So check this out right here. This is one of my newest courses. It's all about wholesale dropshipping onto eBay using these wholesale suppliers. And this is a full course all in of itself. So it introduces you to what it is if you're not familiar with what it is or you didn't get a good idea of what it is. Um, even if you don't know anything about drop shipping, anything about wholesale, anything about working with suppliers, everything you need is in this course. I teach you how to set up your business, how to set up an eBay account if you don't have one, um, how to get agreements with suppliers, how to find these suppliers and how to actually get them to agree to drop ship for you and how to get the best prices from, from you and how to find list um, and list up products for sale how to fulfill orders, customer service, everything you need to be successful with wholesale dropshipping is inside this course. Now, the really cool thing is that this course I am giving away for free as a bonus for anyone who signs up for my original course, which is my eBay dropshipping Titans course. And this course, the eBay dropshipping Titans course, 
teaches you how to do drop shipping from those retail websites. So if you're still interested in doing that, or you're interested in doing wholesale, or you're not sure, it doesn't matter. You can sign up for the eBay Dropshipping Titans course. Uh, Carter, I'll give you a link to it so they can sign up. And if they sign up, they will get access to the original course, which teaches, again, how to do retail dropshipping from like walmart.com. And you get access to the wholesale Titans course as well. So you can make a choice yourself without making a choice with your wallet, which one you want to learn, which one you want to implement, or you can actually do both. And with that, you will also get access to, um, you know, but by the way, both these courses, I always update them all the time. So it's fully updated. As I said, that's really important to me. You can see students' results right here. You also get access to um, all these bonuses, like an exclusive Facebook group. That's sorry, an exclusive um, group, like a forum just for members of the course to ask questions, to post up results, to help each other out. And that's private just for members of the course so that you can get access to that. And I'll, it also includes my 30 day, no questions asked money back guarantee. So if you're not sure, you can still sign up, you get the 30 days to try it out and it comes with that full guarantee. So Paul, thank you so much for showing that. I know a lot of people are looking for that next level information, that next level content that want to start their own eBay dropshipping business. So if you guys are interested in checking out Paul's course or just learning a little bit more about it, I'll have a link below in the description of this video. Definitely check it out if you'd like to learn a little bit more about it. And Paul, thank you so much for coming on the channel once again to talk about eBay dropshipping. My followers, my subscribers, we love to have you here. So thank you so much for um, you know, taking the time out every day to come on here. And if you guys watch this full video through and you've got value from this video, all that Paul and I ask is that if you please just smash that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. If y'all do have any questions regarding anything Paul went over or talked about in this video, feel free to comment below. I'll do my best to get back to every single comment when I can. And of course, if you guys want to see more content on how you can create an additional stream of income online, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And Paul, once again, thank you so much for coming on the channel. Thank you. Perfect. And we'll see y'all next video.